Hey guys, Harv here, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. This is our BOP misadventure, and this is, in fact, episode 4, in which we are doing our driving. If I sound a bit nasally and a bit croaky, it's because I am. I'm... Uh, I've got a cold. <laughs> Hence the lack of videos and stuff. Actually, no, not really. Hence the videos, the lack of videos. And seeing as the lack of videos was straight after I promised to do more, that's a bit... You know, a bit terrible of me, so I'm I'm sorry about that. But um, yeah, cold kind of, and also the fact that I had such a busy weekend. Oh god, it was intense, really, really, really busy. So I didn't get any recorded. And as a general practice, I don't record commentary during the week. So during the school week, that is during the during on work days. So I couldn't record anything throughout that time. Let us detach our landed rover, and we can get out the nice headlights, headlights illuminating it. Illuminating the only thing, only thing around for miles and miles and miles. Oh, and a bit of a bounce and a wobble, because it's bop, which means the gravity is so ridiculously low that we're gonna have issues with that. As you'll see, as you'll see in the future. And I'll go through all the issues I had and stuff. Um, there are a few things I want to say first as we go into map view and look around. Of course, it would be it wouldn't be like we can just see the Kraken from the map view. Because yes, if you guys have not watched the first episodes, you probably should. This is episode four, as I said, and we are hunting the dead space Kraken or one of its children, as I've been told many many times. It's probably not it. It's probably one of its children. Okay, okay, I understand. So, a few things I want to say. Um, first thing, the Matt Dennis has uploaded episode 3? Is that episode 3? Yeah. No. Episode 4, yes. This is episode 4 of this, and episode 4 of Challenging YouTubers has been uploaded on the Matt Dennis 16 ch channel. That channel. You know Matt Dennis. Um, I liked it and commented it, but unfortunately I can't do an awful lot more than that to really promote it. Uh, in the in the at the end of this video, I'll be putting a link to it. But yeah, that is the one because we had some people on the third episode going, "Where's number two? Uh, mainly due to the fact that I incorrectly named that episode. I accidentally called it number two, um, which is a bit stupid of me. Moving on, I've disabled all the unnecessary RCS ports. I've got rid of the front ones and the ones around our return vessel, our orbiting stage, um, because. Well, we don't need to use them. And they are only there so we can actually dock. Uh, hence the massive decoupler on the top. Now, once again, looking on map view, I haven't got any coordinates at this point, so we're just going to go for it. We're just going to hunt around. I know it's in the northern hemisphere, so it can't be too hard to find it. In the entirety of the northern hemisphere. Yeah, Harvey, what were you thinking? It didn't help that I had this problem, that occasionally the lights just wouldn't work and they would fade out um, for no reason. The lights are on, you can clearly see they're on, they just decide not to illuminate the ground. And they are the... the fast ones. Oh, yeah, and this. <laughs> what? What? What is this music? It's so appropriate, but I don't know what the music is. What? Where is this from? I don't remember. I recorded this about three weeks ago, I've got no idea. Nonetheless, God, it's really loud as well. I can barely hear myself think. Ah, it's loud. But yeah, we, we tip over quite a lot. And then it suddenly cuts out, and I've got no idea why. But um, yeah, we tip over. This is the first one. We haven't broken anything. So I'm sure we can uh, get this right back on track if we just disable some RCS ports, turn around, and hopefully we can use that gyroscope that's in the command module that provides that magical torque so we can just flip ourselves back onto our wheels. Um, and we can carry on because we didn't break anything, which is pretty good. But yeah, flipping over. Flipping over is a thing, and it's a thing that happens quite a lot. Uh, if someone knows where or what that music is, then please tell me, because I have got no IQ, no idea. I've got no IQ? Huh. 
well, goodbye space project. Um, I've got no idea whether- I presume I was watching a YouTube video at the same time. I don't know why. <laughs> no, I know why, because it gets boring just driving on, on BOP for ages. And this did take a long time, this took a massively long time, because of, as we crossfade, because of this. I'm just looking around in map view thinking, where on earth could it go? Where on earth could this Kraken be? And if you keep your eyes on the nav ball for me, just a you know, bit of bit of swaying around, bit of jostling, that's okay. That happens quite a lot, I got used to that, not enough to really worry about it. If we zoom back in and we'll see, oh, start tip, oh, oh, and there we go. Explosions and flying. Oh, come on, I can recover from this. I can recover, what have we lost? We've lost a couple of, a couple of headlights, that's fine. I've got the back two still, I can use them. Haven't lost the docking port, which is crucial, and I haven't lost any fuel or anything, so, you know, we're fine. I... Okay, I'd rather not quick load, so we're going to be fine. We shall recover from this. I mean, on Minmus, we took the thing to Minmus and we did this. And we had practice, you know, we had practice recovering. On a, in a low gravity environment, we could recover from quite a significant jump as well. We just have to turn it, and there we go, touchdown. Thought a little bit from that main liquid engine. We do have those reserve tanks on the sides, so that's not a problem. There we go, and we're on our way, just touch down, there we go, and we'll carry on going, no massive deal. Um, lots of some headlights, not a really big problem, to be honest. And we're going to carry on in this direction, because pff, I don't know where to go. Uh, I Eventually, I give up. Oh yeah, and those headlights have randomly decided to come back on. Ah, we're going to have to turn around, I think, we're going to have to operate this backwards. Uh, there we are, going very fast. What is that, 11 meters per... Oh, front flip! Hello! <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. But yeah, I've got to, uh... What was I saying? Something. I, I had a train of thought. I keep on forgetting what I'm talking about. God damn it. Why? Why? I can recover. No, yes. Just do a spin, okay. And another front flip. That's fine. This is acrobatics. It is soon to be a new sport in the Space Olympics, which I may be competing in uh, for the information with that. Turn around and land with our wheels down, that's fine. Turn around again. Oh, lose the docking port. Yep, yeah, that was the one thing I didn't want to lose. Uh, turn around again, just get the wheels down. Oh, no, and there goes everything. No, we haven't broken the fuel tanks. No, we're okay. Oh, okay, now now we have. <laughs> Spin! Strobe lightings! Oomch, 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 oomch. Get that disco going. Oomch, oomch. Yeah, yeah, no. <sighs> This problem pursued me so long. I think it's the one of the reasons why this video took so long to come out uh, is because I actually had a fear of using this, of you, of recording or commentating over this video. And there we go, I quick load because, you know, I said I wasn't going to, and did. So we're back here when I last quick saved. And then from then on, I plug the coordinates in so I know where I'm going now, or I know what direction I'm going. I don't specifically know where I'm going. But there we go, I'm looking at that, I know what direction to head in. Um, but yeah, the main problem was finding the time to quick load, uh, quick save. Quick loading is fine, you can do it whenever, but quick saving, you have to not be moving. Um, so let's carry on with our journey. And any attempt at slowing down, oh, nice, nice cinematic camera view. Ah, very nice. But yeah, any attempts at slowing down don't go particularly well. Um, so I cover large distances and then I try and slow down and I spin out of control. So I cover shorter distances, not going so fast, and I slow down, and I quick load, I quick save even, and it doesn't take very long, it just takes ages, friggin' ages, to cover the entire northern hemisphere, it takes such a long time, I'm skipping forward ridiculously fast, ridiculously, and we're bouncing about a little and it's fine, and you can probably hear people in the background, because despite, or contrary to what they all know, um, they decide to carry on talking despite the fact I'm recording, which is a little disappointing. A little disappointing, to say the least. But, we can carry on. All rambling and just, you know, complaining aside. God, first world problems. Someone was talking over my recording. I don't have legs, you know. Okay, so we're going in the right direction. And we'll skip forward a bit more. Uh, just carry on going forwards a lot. Going up slope. It's, it deals with it surprisingly well. Oh, tip, slight tip there, that's fine. 
we can recover from that. It does that all the time, it's fine. Okay, maybe, maybe not. Oh, oh, no, we're fine. We can recover from this. We can recover, we can recover, we can recover. There, there goes everything. Quick load. And there, yep, yeah, okay, more explosions. Yep, bam. We're okay, we're fine, we haven't lost much. We've lost a, no, we haven't even lost a fuel tank, and we've still got our docking ports. We're fine. Carry on going. Um, you might end up hitting the floor. Yeah, there we go, hit the floor, lost the fuel tank now. Quick load. <sighs> And this one will carry on, and, oh, spin, and, yep, yeah, lost, and, yep, yeah, exploded. <laughs> Slowing down. Slowing down to quick save is a hard, hard task. I can recover from this. I can just turn, maybe, yeah. Yeah, Olympic practicing. Come on. We can do this. It's completely worthwhile to pursue this, despite the fact that I've already lost all the parts I need, and, as a result, I'm going to end up quick loading anyway. But, no, we'll carry on. We'll carry on going, it'll be fine. Um, enjoy the background music. Yeah. If you land, or if you, if you even turn, if your prograde position is not out of line... No. If your velocity vector is too far out of line with the direction you're pointing in, or the wheels are pointing in, more importantly, then things don't go well. Especially when you're trying to recover from a big spin-out like that. Luckily I have managed to recover, but I've still got to quick load because I've lost the docking port and several fuel tanks. But if your wheels are too far out of the direction of velocity, then you're going to end up just dying of flipping over. And if you try to slow down, then that happens. Slight bob there, and a bit more of a bob, we can recover, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, lost a headlight, and lost a thing, and more things, and a fuel tank, and flipping again. Ugh. So yeah, quick load. Um, moving on to a different time, a different place, when this has happened once more. Just want to try and recover from this. I'm only including these bits in the video out of the two hours it took to actually find the damn Kraken. Yes, we do succeed in finding it. Um, of course, this video wouldn't be here if I didn't, but uh, yeah, yeah, land and oh, and go spinning again. Ah, that's a shame. What a shame. But yeah, the reason I'm only including this is because it's the entertaining part. Um, the rest of it was literally just driving. Hence why I was watching YouTube videos at the same time, <laughs> for some inexplicable reason. I, I just explained and then I called it inexplicably. Inexplicable. What is that? Just, ugh. Land this damn thing so we can carry on. No, nope, explosions. Lost your docking port. <sighs> so we carry on. And we're getting nearer and nearer to the end. Um, what is what is this piece of footage going to enlighten us anymore? Yes, yeah, so we're bouncing around on wheels and we're oh, almost flipping. Just come back a little for us. There we go, nice and sedately. So you know what I said about the wheels being too far, the direction of the wheels being too different to the actual velocity vector? Well, there, there are some circumstances where that doesn't apply and we'll see that in a minute. Um, if we just carry on going, and it's it's very interesting as well. But yeah, we're carrying on going forwards, and I'm seeing white pixels on the horizon now. Just little, little white pixels, nothing major. Um, so I think, okay, slow down, and we'll quick load. Yeah. A. Don't use brakes. B. Don't crash. That can be easier said than done. Um, still those white pixels on the horizon carry on tormenting me. And I'm starting to think they're just stars come over the horizon. Uh, but I've already committed myself to slowing down, so by god I will slow down. I And trust me, I've experimented. You can't use brakes. You just can't. Low gravity environment, it does not work. Not with landing gear like this. We need the dedicated rover parts that are coming out in point 19. And there's the explosion. Point 19, we are getting so many good things. Rovers with steerable wheels that are powerable by electricity. Um, and they can be docked together to form massive fuel lines and... Ah, just so amazing stuff. And we're getting facial expressions for the Kerbals. Although, although they did say that Point 19 was coming sooner than later with the thing that they're going to miss out a few of those actual features. Um, include them in Point 20 
rather than 0.19. But anyway, that, that's not what we're here to talk about. Time acceleration, or physics warp. It's not really time acceleration, it's just... It, there's a two different thing. Physics warp is when you can still control your ship. And you can see the wheels pointed really, really far out. If my voice is getting quieter and louder, it's because I'm rocking on my chair. It's quite fun. It's quite nice. But yeah, time acceleration. This is... or physics acceleration. I just said physics acceleration. This is what I needed. This is it. Because you are invincible. Now, that's contrary to what we all know, but just go with me here. You you can literally just do a... you can probably do a 180 on time acceleration. Just carry on going. Skimming over the surface. Because it doesn't... Because because the calculations are done less frequently in order to speed up how fast the game is running, it does not really consider the fact that you should be flipping over and dying horribly right now. And look at that over there. What is that in the distance? Oh yes, that is some pixels. And those pixels take up a larger proportion of the screen. And we start to see this big blob. And we are coming to the end of the video, the big, the big blob thing that is the dead space kraken. It's a bit pathetic really, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty cool, pretty cool this is here. Using RCS to slow down, it works, it works, in this circumstance. I can tell you, if I actually died at this point, I would probably rage quit for several hours. Coming round, doing a bit of a tour of the space kraken, ladies and gentlemen. If you look to your left, you will see the giant, the ginormous green dead blob. Uh, is one of our most often visited attractions here on Bop. Literally the entire moon. This is pretty much the only interesting thing on it. Uh, and I know you cannot, you cannot, you cannot doubt me because I've driven across half of it. Okay, okay. Yes, and anyway, getting back to topic, this is the Dead Space Kraken. You can see it has several features, including six tentacles. It has two eyes, both of which are got massive crosses on them, which have been drawn with a pen of some description. Uh, um, maybe this is just a mock-up. Mock maybe this has actually been put here to lead us astray, and not to concentrate on the things we should be, like the Permadeath space program. Like the KSP test pilot. Like the That's No Moon base. So maybe we should get back to that. Thank you very much for watching the video. This was episode 4 of 5. It is landing, uh, returning, that's coming next. And I'm being called by my relatives, so I should really go and deal with that. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked the video, please do like the video. Thank you very much for watching again, and I shall see you all next time.